Ta-da! Welcome to 2009. So, one of the first things I wanted to do, not really a resolution, more of a, you know, goal to set out, is to actually read at least one book per month. I know that's kind of kind of weird, but for those of us not in school anymore, reading is a luxury, and it does take some time, but even with work, I love to read. I'm a writer, so I love to read. You know, it gets the creative juices flowing. So, I needed to finish the last book I was reading in 2008. And that book was It's Superman by Tom D. Haven. It's a story about Superman and about his origins and upbringing. But instead of it being set, you know, maybe in the 50s or something contemporary... It's actually during the time that he was actually, you know, conceived. So it's the 1930s. And it's it's very different. It's it's a product of its time. Superman, you know, it's all there. You've got Lex Luthor. You've got Mom, Pa, Kent. But Metropolis is New York City because it's obviously that's the city it was modeled after. Uh, you've got Lois Lane, of course. Clark has things, you know, going for Lois Lane, and just like in the 30s, they're always going at each other. Same thing with uh, Superman and Lex Luthor. And, you know, there's varying ideologies going about there. But um, it was kind of a hard read. It took me a couple of months to read it, and this was the book I started to read after, you know, Paper Towns. And Paper Towns read pretty fast. But, yeah, I'm happy. I'm done with this. I was going to read uh, this book. It's uh, The Informers by Brett Easton Ellis. It's set in the 1980s. Um, you know, it's mostly a book about nihilism, about drugs, nothing, death. And as I was flipping through it, I realized I read it before. It's kind of a sad, depressing book, so that's why it's not as memorable in my mind. But I came to a point in the chapter where something kind of gruesome happened and I remembered I read it so I'm not reading this what I had planned was to uh, read a book that a friend of mine recommended and I thought it would last me quite a while but I actually read it in a few hours it's a manga called uh, Goodbye it's by Yoshihiro Tetsumi it's basically a collection of uh, short story mangas uh, done, done and set in uh, post World War II Japan, and I thought the Brett East, Easton Ellis book was kind of you know depressing, but this this is really depressing. So I guess it's a product and a reflection of their time. So most of the stories is about you know male impotence and just weird relationships between men and women and women leaving leaving leading sad lives and just uh spiral of just defeatism and hopelessness and i guess that's what most people were feeling to or, re or reacting to after after the bombing of Hiroshima and, and all that yeah, kind of depressing but yeah that was my first day of 2008 hopefully going to blog daily or near near daily not sure so happy new year's guys and i don't know what book i'm going to read next so stay tuned for what I'm going to choose. Bye.